What's up everyone? Today I'm taking you through a quick glimpse at my garage gym or my garage gym that's in progress. Uh, early this year when COVID hit, it was converted into kind of a makeshift uh, mat space for Taekwondo practice as all of our classes went online. But classes are now back to in person, so I really don't have too much use for this much mat space. I only need a small, maybe, you know, 10 by 10 space with the kicking bag here to practice Taekwondo. But that being said, I do have all this other stuff here. Uh, typical garage stuff. As you can see, all the kids stuff over there, that big hunk of stuff there is going to have to go to a shed. So that'll be one project will be me getting a shed, building a shed, doing something of that sort to get that mess out of the way. But I've already started planning some equipment. Uh, nothing huge right now as I'm limited by budget and time and all this crap that's still here. That has to go first. I have to paint the walls. They're a mess, as you can see. Let's get all this stuff out of here. I'm also going to split the flooring, so I'm going to swing the mat all the way around to where it covers up this front space here. Uh, just sideways, and then the second portion of this room back here, up against the wall, I will have more of a rubber uh, gym material for the weights. Um, as far as equipment goes, I've only really ordered one new thing. I have a few other things in mind that I can work out with in this space during the time being. Uh, one of those things I'm really excited about uh, with Rogue Fitness is their Mutt Bar. Um, unfortunately, right now, so many of the workout equipment is back ordered. They're trying to make it as fast as they can to fulfill orders. And as many of you know, it's really hard to get anything, but thankfully uh, they still had a pretty good stock on the mutt bars. And from everything I've read, it's a very versatile weight, so I'm pretty excited to give that a try. Um, I'll do a review on here as well, of course. And I will probably put together some videos to show some quick you know, workout ideas that you can do with it. Um, again, it's the mutt bar. It's kind of this big, wide bar complex with two weights on the end. Uh, I went ahead and got the 66 pound one because I'm going to be mostly using it um, for shoulders and for chest. Um, some things where just, you know, the, the little barbells I have right now are not cutting it. I have to lay on the full floor and do, you know, hundreds of reps before <laughs> fatigue sets in for some of these things. So the 66 pound mutt weight is on its way. It'll probably take two weeks or so, we'll see. Also, uh, next video up, I will be showing kind of like before and after of clearing all this stuff out and painting the walls. I'll probably hang up some art, make it a little bit more friendly. Um, it's starting to cool down here a little bit. So that's good. I don't think I'll need to spring for an air conditioner unit yet. Maybe next uh, spring, summer when it gets hot again. Maybe I'll need a heater here, you know, in a few months probably. Um, TV. This is a really old TV. All this stuff's going to go. I'll probably bring one of our other TVs in here and hang it on the wall. Um, put some music. Probably bring the Alexa out here. So... Anything to make working out a little bit more comfortable is great, right? Anything that can convince you, you know, to get up and look something to look forward to in the morning. Um, exercise, looking forward to that and to the pain and to the muscle fatigue can only get you so far. Uh, that's kind of what I'm going on right now, but I know in the months to come, uh, it'll be harder and harder still. So. Um, if you have any kind of gym ideas, I've been looking at a lot of different channels for different ideas. Uh, a rack is definitely going to be in the works at some point once some stuff becomes available again. Um, as far as also a barbell and just some basic weights. Um, I am also waiting for a few more heavier dumbbell options. And I will probably build my own pulley system for pulling weights uh, hooked up to the rack. There are a lot of DIY videos out there, so I probably won't do one, but I'll show kind of just, you know, the end result of what I did. So 
Um, the other thing I'm going to do possibly in the future is going to is going to be some giveaways. So as I start kind of collecting equipment, uh, nothing crazy expensive, of course. I'm not going to give away a rack or you know a whole barbell set or anything. But as I get new and and different things um, that I'm trying out to do uh, my workouts with, if it's something interesting and something that I can send off to a viewer as part of a giveaway, I'll do that. Um, I was thinking up, you know, first is these mutt bars. I've ordered, you know, a few of them. They're available. Um, once I do some videos and some reviews, um, maybe I'll set a goal. Maybe, you know, the thousandth subscriber to my channel will be, you know, the winner and get the mutt bar and I'll send it off to them. Or maybe once I get a thousand subscribers, uh, I'll choose a random person who comments on the sweepstakes video, you know, to give it away. But we'll see. More of that will be coming up as I get that equipment and some other different new cool things that are coming in. So uh, be sure to stay tuned. Thanks for watching.